Hey everybody, I'm Adriana and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be talking to you guys today because today we are doing a little pack with me for a trip to South Carolina. So I've never been to South Carolina before so I am very excited. I want to go visit Charleston, I want to maybe go visit Savannah, Georgia, like all of these places. So that's going to be pretty fun. I know this is probably sounding pretty weird to you guys because you're like, wait a second, have you not seen the news? Do you not see that the cases are going up? And I am with you. So basically the reason we are going to South Carolina is because my grandma had a vacation planned for this period um, that did not involve us um, or it involved me, but she had a vacation planned and they said that if she did not use it, um, she would just lose her money because things are technically back open. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be going up to South Carolina. We'll be staying at the Hilton Head, um, in the Hilton Head area. So I've never been there before and I'm really excited. Honestly, I've never been anywhere like I've never been to South Carolina I've never been to um Charleston or Savannah, Georgia or anything like that. So I'm excited to go explore. Um, but thankfully we can stay in the hotel room away from people. We can enjoy the beach away from people. And then we can just kind of explore the outdoor, which is kind of what I wanted to do anyways, away from people. So I have a mask and everything. I've got a cute mask I'm gonna show you guys that I made, which I'm really pumped about. So we are going to just pack for this trip. Hopefully get lots of really cute photos. I'm so excited to visit Rainbow Row. And of course I'll be vlogging the whole thing. So I'll be taking you guys along with me. Um, but yeah, I'm, this is just like really exciting to me because I'm so excited to just get out of the house and like go somewhere and do something fun um, and still stay safe and stay away from people, you know, and then also not lose money. So that's what we're getting ready to do today. So let's just go ahead and get to packing. <laughs> Every time I do that, I like was going to do that to come into the frame and then it reminds me of TikTok and it makes me feel like I'm a TikToker, but... I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Anyways, hi guys. So we are about to dive into my closet right now. So there are a couple of, I've like been pinning things for a trip to South Carolina for a while and this just kind of popped up and I was like, oh, I have to go, I have to do things. So now I'm like scrounging in my closet, which I wish I could have gone out and like bought cute things for this, but it's okay. We will make do with what we have and we have plenty. So we are very blessed. <laughs> so, um, But we are going to dive through this closet. I'm very excited. Also, this is my outfit of the day. You guys will never believe where I got this shirt. I got this shirt from Walmart. It is like this white creamy, um, it's really like a beige type shirt and this says i'm reading it backwards i'm like what the heck is yaru <laughs> but it says hooray and i just think it's so cute and like the colors are different it's actually embroidered so it's not printed or anything so it's a, it's a really nice shirt and i'm like really shook that i got it from walmart and of course i'm wearing it with my signature blue mom jeans from paxson and then i'll pair them with my rose gold um target burks um for the drive over which is about five hours but so let us go ahead and dive into our closet here. So I have a couple ideas of what I want to bring, but we will we will see. So this is one of them over here. So this is a dress. I have been buying things. <laughs> I'll finally my online shopping throughout quarantine will finally come to some use. Amazing. So this is one of the things that I bought during quarantine. And of course, you guys will see it on later during the vlogs. Um, but this is just this beautiful, like it's a almost like a burnt orange color dress and it has the embroidery on the sleeves and on the bottom and the cinched waist i love this it is from one loved babe which is a website um it is like an online store that i found over the past couple months and i have just grown more and more in love with and so you guys should definitely go check it out wish i had a coupon code because they are a little bit pricey but all of their stuff is so beautiful that i just you gotta love it so i love this and i think i'm gonna bring it just because i think it'd be really cute and just i love dresses because i can just throw them on and just throw some flip-flops on or even sneakers if we're gonna be walking and look put together even though i really didn't try that hard so i'm gonna be taking this and i'm excited about that so i'm just gonna kind of throw them on the bed for now show you guys them and then we'll pack them up later so that was the first thing and then this is another one that i'm gonna take and it is this wrap dress so it's kind of hard to see what it looks like and I'm blurry there we go so it's kind of hard to see what it looks like but it is a wrap dress and it is a very pale pink it is from Target um, I got it on clearance when I was back in Gainesville so that was a steal but it kind of like folds in on itself in the middle and then it has a little clasp up here but it's really cute again really flowy and just I can just imagine myself wearing this around taking pictures outside around all the pretty buildings and this so that's another cute one Let's see. 
And then another one, I have this cute little baby doll dress that I've had for a while, like since last year's summer. Um, I used it once for a cute little Disney pic that I took for my Instagram, but I have not used it again, believe it or not, just because I guess life where have I been to wear clothes you know so it is like having its shining moment now again but I'm the worst at this so um it is just this cute little pink baby doll dress and it is a little short but I typically wear shorts underneath it anyways just because it is so see-through so it's just like a fun a fun thing to wear out and about with shorts underneath and then I probably put some sneakers on with it to be honest like some converse or something but it has these frilly sleeves that I'm just in love with here See the frilly sleeves? It's so cute. Okay, so with that, um, there's something else I know I wanted to take. Okay, yes, so it's in here. So I found this dress that I'm about to show you guys at TJ Maxx. Mm, that's false. Marshalls. At Marshalls. And so it is this beautiful green, um, like, sundress. And it kind of has, like, the um, tight ruching at the top. I'm the worst at doing this. I'm trying my best, y'all. So it's like that stretchy fabric up here. And then it just has these frills at the bottom. First off, this color is not something that I ever, ever buy. Just because, I don't know, it's just not in my comfort zone of colors. But it just stuck out to me so much. And I just fell so in love with it that I needed to have it. And it also reminded me of like a free people dress, kind of. So let's hang it up there. This is such a better idea. Why don't I do this for the first place? But this is kind of what it looks like. And just like the fabric and the style of it just reminded me of a dress that I have seen at Free People and I'm obsessed with Free People but as anybody knows Free People is anything but free so I don't shop there very often but I just fell in love with this dress and it was super affordable because it was at Marshalls of all places and so of course I swooped it up and I love it and I think this would be gorgeous on Rainbow Row so that's my Rainbow Road Rainbow Row or Rainbow Road I don't know I do not know Rainbow Road I think is something in Mario Kart so I could just be making that up in my head and it's Rainbow Row um, I don't know. It's rainbow something. It's where they have like all these beautiful, I'll put a picture in. They have like these beautiful pink buildings. Not pink. They're like, there's a pink one, there's a yellow one, like a blue one, and purple one, and, and colors, you know, um, all right next to each other. And it's just so happy and cute. So that's what I'm talking about. Whatever it's called, I do not know. Is it Rainbow Road? Rainbow Road? Who knows? But that's the dress that I'm going to be wearing when I go to visit it because I just think it's a, a fun color that matches the pastels of the building. So love that. And then I have a lot of shirts and stuff, but as you can see, I'm trying to stick to the dress thing here just because your girl likes comfort. And if you can wear a dress and throw some Nike pros underneath it, I'm, I'm a fan because then I'm comfortable and I look put together without actually having to try. All right, so this is another one that I'm going to be taking. And it is just like a jumper slash romper thing, like a long romper, which I call a jumpsuit. And it just has these really pretty lace. Um, so like the bottoms of the pants are like this really pretty lacy embroidered fabric that I just think is the cutest. It's a little tropical, but we will be by the beach. So I think that would be really cute and fun to wear. Okay, so now that I'm looking back through my closet, I'm really only going to be there for four days, so I don't really need to be packing too much. So I think, I think that's all I'm going to bring. So I think we can close this up now. Okay, guys, so we are over here. I have all of the clothing laying out on the bed. And basically what I'm going to be using for this trip, and pretty much the only thing really, is going to be this peach curion bag. I got it off of Amazon for a really good price. I can put the link down below. Um, I love the color, first off. And it fits everything that I need for a week trip, which is amazing. It's magic. Um, but what is great about it is that it's also the exact dimensions of all the carry-on bags that are acceptable from, like, all airlines pretty much across the board even the picky ones so it's really helpful even though we're not going on an airline just because that scares me we are flat I mean, we are not flying we are driving the five or so hours which really i don't think is going to be that bad um i still wanted to take it just because packing light is probably just going to be the easier way to go especially since it's kind of a, a quick trip we just want to throw things in a bag and leave so that's what we're going to do um hence all the dresses that i can just roll up and throw in there so we are just going to go ahead and actually no before i do anything i'm gonna i have this little pile of stuff here and it is just some t-shirts some leggings and then pajamas just because i prefer to put that in first just because 
I like everything to be super, this stuff can be folded up right at the bottom, but this stuff I like it to be super rolled up so that it won't get wrinkles and so that when I get there, I can throw a hanger on it immediately and not have to be like pulling things out of the bag. Um, so this is gonna go on first because it doesn't really matter and then the stuff that can get wrinkled and I wanna hang, I'll put it on top. So let's do it. The key to packing with only a carry-on is to bring a pair of shoes that you can wear with every single outfit, and these are mine. So these are these, um, what are they, Universal Thread, oh, I love the Target Universal Thread collection, but these are the Target Universal Thread um, faux leather gold sandals. I absolutely love these. I got them at sale on Target. Target has a sale on their sandals almost all the time, and they're fantastic because they match literally every single one of these dresses that I'm bringing, and they're comfortable, and I can just slide them on and throw them in there. And then the only other shoes I'm wearing um, or bringing are these rose gold Target version of Birkenstocks, and I will continue to buy these until they stop selling them because I love them so much, and I have used and abused them. So I'm bringing those, and then I'm probably going to bring a pair of white sneakers that I will put in another bag just because those are kind of gross and I don't want to put them in here um but then yeah that's pretty much it okay everybody so now we are in my bathroom and I'm going to go ahead and pack up all of my toiletries and makeup for the trip honestly I've been doing super minimal makeup lately like right now the only thing I have on is my foundation concealer um some powder and then mascara actually that's a lie I have some glimmery eye stuff in there but if y'all saw my normal makeup routine which I do have a video of it it's just way too much <laughs> it is just too much of a hassle and I spend way too much time so if you guys have any recommendations of people who have really awesome daily makeup routine videos that do not take forever please drop that link down below because I could use it very much so this it's this is minimal for me <laughs> right now so I am just going to go ahead and find we're searching back deep in the abyss of my bathroom here I have this clear bag that this is what I use for basically everything when I go traveling I put all of my makeup here I put all my toiletries in here and I have these travel size um, body washes that I will just continue to fill up with my body wash and shampoo and conditioner and just keep reusing them um, so that I always have them ready if I'm going and here I could go to Robert's house, I could go over to a friend's house, and I always have it ready to go. So that's what these are. So that's what I'm gonna put in here. Um, but yeah, let's show you guys what I'm bringing. All right, really quick before I do that, I found, I could not figure out where I put it, and I just realized it was sitting in my to-go bag all this time. But my favorite, favorite, favorite Bath & Body Works body spray is the Brain Kiss Sleeves one because it smells just like that candle I showed you guys a little while back that smells like the Disney Resorts and Avatar Flights of Passage and this is what that smells like. And so, as you can see, I have very little left. If you ever see it, pick up one for your girl, reach out to me. I will, <laughs> I will send you whatever I need to send you. But I absolutely love this stuff, so that's coming. Okay, you guys, so what I am bringing is one of them is my Garnier, Garnier, I don't know what was coming out of my mouth just then, um, Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This stuff is fantastic to take off makeup. It does not sting your face or your eyes, and it is just, it gets mascara off really easy. So I love that. This was actually gifted to me when I did a partnership with um, Her Campus or Influence Her Collective a little while back, but I just keep using it because it was that great. So I guess it worked. But then I will also be bringing my facial cleanser. I will be bringing my toothbrush, obviously, and toothpaste. Um, I don't normally use the Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. These were just like a last minute buy that I had to quickly do at a CVS, but I am still using them. I normally just use the Walmart brand ones because they are cheaper and they work really, really great with that stuff. Um, my deodorant, my body washes, dry shampoo, and um, deodorant. Then if we move over to this mess over here, so this is my makeup, which I am in desperate need of um, organizing and desperate need of cleaning this. I actually think I'm going to clean this before we leave. This is my beauty blender, so I'm taking that. Um, I will be bringing my foundation. I will be bringing my concealer. Big, big fan of the Tarte Shape Tape. Um, let's see what else is here. Don't fall. Okay, yeah. My mascara, my face brush, and then I'll be bringing my face powder. I use the L'Oreal True Match Powder. And I know it's kind of blurry right now, but I use the color neutral. So I love that. That stuff I've been using forever. 
Um, and then I am going to take my little my little eyeshadow brush and that I use literally just to take this highlighter that's from Sephora that is not a really good highlighter but I love to use it on the inner corners of my eyes with that eyeshadow brush so that's that's how fancy we are over here but yeah I think that's all I'm gonna take oh and then my eyelash curler I desperately need that but I'm probably just gonna leave the eyebrow pencil just because I've been just mixing the eyebrows lately I just haven't really cared about it very much and I'm gonna leave my bronzer and my setting spray and my um this translucent baking powder from Laura Mercier that is literally a godsend it's fantastic but it's just not that serious this trip so I think I'm gonna ditch it but yeah that's what we're gonna bring done with the bathroom stuff there are actually a couple of stragglers and things that I miss like my razor which I need obviously um, but now we are moving on to my camera bag so we have my toiletries bag my clothing bag and then we are going to load up the camera bag and primarily bringing this because what I want to bring my camera to take photos and then of course document the whole little trip but also because I am still a working gal <laughs> and I have videos to edit and homework to do and Twitter to keep up on and see what's going on in the world. So we're going to pack that up. Okay, guys, so I am pretty much all done packing now, really. I think I just really need to put it in the car. I think I'm pretty good to go. I'll go through like my mental checklist of what I need to do or what I need to get before we leave. But I really feel like I got it all. I got all my electronics, all of my clothing, all of my toiletries and makeup. I think I'm pretty good. So I'm feeling good about that. And of course I'll go through, go through it all again and then ask everybody in the house like I always do, what do you think I forgot? So that, that'll happen later. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. That was my little pack with me for my South Carolina trip. I am excited to share with you guys what we are up to and what we do and what little gems we find. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next time. Bye!